So one of the jobs I'm going to do is um, try and get some sort of charging in place for the batteries because at the moment the only way of charging it is by the engine. Um, <clears throat> so it's got a what I believe is a hundred watt solar panel on the roof of, of the, the cockpit here. Um, and they've run the cables sort of down the side through here and here into this charge controller. Um, now I'm of the understanding that this charge controller doesn't work. Um, so I'm going to check that. It's not in the position that I'd want it in anyway. Um, I think it needs to go away somewhere so I ideally I would have put it in as a uh, cupboard behind this um, that it could go in but the cables are, are a bit far away from the batteries are down here under this um, panel so I'd have to run um, lot, lots more wires than I need need be perhaps so I'm gonna have a look at see if I, whether it can go in here somehow um, and I'm not going to use this one it came with a another smaller solar panel um, with a charge controller with that and this is the sort I'm more familiar with um, it's the it, it's the right ampage to take um, a hundred watt one as well so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and connect it up using this one somewhere possibly in there um, see if it actually does charge does the, the one on the roof does work if it doesn't work then I'll rig this one up temporarily somewhere so it's at least charging um, and uh, yeah we'll see how we go this one could perhaps go here temporarily something like that we'll see this is the panel on the top of the roof so, as you can see, the cable for it runs here and runs down the side. Now, I would like to put it somewhere a bit tidier than this. Uh, there is a sort of a, a hole somewhere underneath that we might be able to use. We'll see. Now I just want to see what's under here. I'm replacing all this anyway. All this headlining out here. With something, I don't know what. There's a big gouge here. Which I'm wondering if that's where the wires come through because the lights and the horn and everything are about here there's a wire here that's not connected to anything I don't know what that's for so I just want to get under here and have a look So it looks like there's a channel here. It seems to finish about here with one wire. I'm pretty sure the horn works up there, so there must be some live wires up there that are active. No, there's nothing. No. So what I will probably do with the solar panel is leave the wires running as they are for the moment down the side. I'll temporarily run them into there um, and then I think 
one day when it's a bit nicer, it's very wet and windy today, and it's a bit nicer, I'll take the panel off, um, I'll put the wire for it through the top of the uh, roof up here, and then it can run somewhere a bit more discreet, um, but not today, so temporarily we'll leave it running down here and into there. So I could connect it to perhaps this one. Shall I just to show you the batteries? So the two grounds are connected together there. Now the two uh, positive ones here actually go to a unit in here, which I'm not completely sure what it does yet, but it obviously combines them. Um, rather than them going from one to the other and then having one out. So we'll have a look at that maybe a bit later today, but for now, I think I'm just gonna run a wire from two of these terminals here, up through the back here. Uh, if I can find a way of getting it up there and put the charge controller in here. Because I hate doing temporary things, um, I'm gonna, Install the charge controller, I think, where I, I want it to be. So I'm going to probably put it here in this cupboard. Um, so it's still reasonably accessible if I want to change modes or see what it's doing. Without having to take the panel off out there. Um, but it's sort of out of the way a bit. Uh, and there's already holes for things that go into here and channels that go down there. So it's a case of running some wire. From up here, down there, under here somewhere, um, uh, to the battery, and then the actual solar panel. I think how I'm going to do it, maybe not today, but how I'm going to do the solar panel is actually have it come through the roof where it sits, so somewhere about here. It'll run under whatever I, new stuff I put up, up here run under this, down there, nobody nobody will see it, and then it'll come just down that corner, hopefully a little bit discreetly, and then there's some holes there that I hopefully get it in without being noticed too much. That was where the old uh, depth sounder was, I think. Uh, and then that can go into the charge controller, which is sitting at the back of this. So I've taken this panel off, which gives me access to the main uh, loom there that goes down and into a little hole there which hopefully comes out in the engine bay so we'll start threading wires right. I've put this in here cable tied it poked it through there so I've just got to get access under there and uh, find a way to pull it through so there's no access from the engine compartment there because it's got a, a bulkhead or whatever there so I need to take this board up so I've lifted this other panel off 
as you can see the fuel tanks under here which is good because I actually wanted to check the um, quantity of the fuel tank um, because the previous owner said he hadn't been putting lead replacement uh, additive into the fuel um, and it's an old engine so it would have needed it um, I'd have thought so I know I've got half a tank of fuel left so I wanted to see what the um, capacity was so roughly what half a tank would be so I can start putting some additive in it um, based on that um, yeah so the wires seem to come through here and indeed there's oh, I've lost, lost the other one there's one of them I have to go and re-poke the other one through but that should be fairly easy feed them through there and then carry on round so I can't actually see the capacity on it I see a model number by the look of it there LT54 does that mean lead 54 litres maybe uh, it's got a load of instructions here about uh, to maximum temperatures and fill levels and that kind of thing uh, but I reckon maybe 54 litres I'll do some re research on that number on the internet and see if anything comes up now I've managed to feed them through the engine bay here and they come under here and out near the battery here so I just need to connect them up now so down in the corner of the head um, there is if you can see it there see if I zoom in there's the kill switches for the batteries so those two batteries are actually on separate kill switches so I think you can join them together keep one separate that kind of thing so I've put the wires on here I've put an inline fuse on the on the positive one and just connected them to what I'm going to call battery one as it's the one that's closest to the side and most of the other uh, other um, ground negatives are, are tagged onto um, so I've left the fuse out of that for now until I go and connect the charge controller up um, a couple of things I've noticed I think I'm going to redo these wires here I noticed it's not very good connection there or there I don't think it obviously works but I'm going to redo it at some point I'll get some more uh, a fresh cable a bit thicker than that perhaps and join the two up uh, might even renew these ones as well because I've got a load of this uh, very large much larger than this cable actually left over from a previous project so that's the charge controller installed on the wall with the connections to the battery so now I've just got to go and hook it up to the solar panel so what I've done is I've taken the solar cable here I've temporarily put some cable extra cable on it here to extend it I've run it across run it down the hole where the um, depth sounder would have been um, and into the cabin I've also what I've done it so I've run a bit of twin core down there because I shall have something here there was a bit of cable here for it but it was looked a bit old so I've taken that out so I've run a bit of twin core so I'll have something here whether I put a depth sounder back or a light up compass or something there'll be something here because this will be loads of holes when I take this out so um, yeah I'll do something so I've run a bit of that through so I had to take the headlining off here what's left of it so this piece here I should keep that I don't know what to do with it yet I may put it back on and then and then use it and then go over go over it with whatever I am choosing to do the ceiling with uh, but yeah they come in here go along here through this gap here through this bulkhead here down here and into the solar charger now that's connected up there's the twin core I'm just going to leave that for the moment until I know what to do with it so that's connected up, I shall tidy it up when I know it's working, actually working. Um, so we'll go and put the fuse in on the battery and see if it does anything. 
I've connected the battery to it and it has actually come on. I don't know if you can see that there. Put a bit of light on it. There we go. So that's connected to the battery. So it's reading 12 and a half volts. And you can see by that, it's got a panel there with an arrow going into the battery, which means it is actually charging it. So the solar panel does work. So that's good. So we've got batteries now that uh, are getting topped up. So good, yeah, still running. Um, there's not very much sun today. So I don't expect it to, to charge, but the voltage should go up a little bit when it's uh, when it is charging.